So I have a uh, in biblical insight that came from a friend of mine, and it's such a good insight that I thought I would just go ahead and share it. It's from Matthew 27, verse 19. And to give credit where the credit is due, it's from Lucas Orso. And it's the dream of Pilate's wife. Um, and it reads as such. And as he was sitting in the place of judgment, his wife sent to him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with this, with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. So, what was the dream? Now, Lucas said he got this from a mystic. Well, I certainly didn't find anything in the early church fathers or any biblical commentaries. So, I haven't looked up any mystics, but... Um, it was still such a good insight that I just had to share it. What the insight is, is, is such that every, you know, for the remainder of time, in every rosary that's prayed, in every mass that's said on Sundays, whenever the creed is said, it will be acknowledged that Pilate utterly failed that he was a failure to do the most important thing to you know, not kill Jesus. It's, you know, in the creed it says, Supponsio Pilato. Now, Pilate washed his hands clean of the killing of Jesus, but he was still held accountable in, the, in, in time because it was still under his authority that Jesus died. It was still the Roman soldiers who were under his authority. And we remember this in the Creed every Sunday. In Credo 3, the notation is very interesting because it uh, drops down like a, uh, in a sorrowful way. You know, it goes, Supponsio Pilato. And it's that moment in this chant where it just drops down in this sorrowful moment, almost kind of and there's a pause afterwards, you know? So the church remembers sadly the failure of, of Pilate to do the right thing, to serve justice and not, not, sin, not just the, the iniquitous cries of, of angry people. So, and, and uh, that was the insight. Now we do know that Pontius Pilate was exiled later and that his wife did not go with him into exile and it's also understood by the other church fathers that he committed suicide so um, that may also as well have been a portion of that dream but I thought that man those those things would would have all been collected together in that in that dream a very good insight from a friend of mine I thought I'd share it kind of also makes me think of the second coming in the second judgment where all is made known what would that dream be and our, also our, our own failures so I guess what we can take away from this is you know maybe a doubling down on faith and doubling down on prayer and penance you know so that we can uh, fall into union with our Lord and to become better Christians so hopefully that's helpful if it is hey you know go ahead share it and, you know, as always, stay hungry, my friends.